Hey guys, Ewan here, and uh, here you're watching Ronnie Coleman training today. Not just today, but keep in mind that all these videos that you're about to see have been taken in the past 10 weeks or so. So it's present time, and Ronnie Coleman is still training pretty hard. Now, I'm not gonna disrespect the legend, the greatest of all time, actually. But I'm gonna take the liberty to actually comment on uh, his physique, his lifting form, and uh, his choices. So, right here, watching him training his biceps, and you can see that his arms are not looking very big, of course. So, it's honestly it's surprising that he lost that much muscle. This man was probably, pound for pound, the most muscular bodybuilder ever that ever walked the planet Earth or competed at the Mr. Olympia, but most certainly won the Mr. Olympia. He is the biggest Mr. Olympia ever. So, considering that, considering the fact that his arms were 24 inches back in the day, they are looking insanely downsized today. So, I mean, I would expect him to lose a lot of his gains, but all of it? But I get it, I mean, he had a dozen of back surgeries, probably more. They all happened over the course of many years, so in all that time, he wasn't able to keep his training consistent, and most likely his diet, I mean, he wasn't able to eat a lot. So, of course, he would lose a lot of size. But he kind of lost more than I would expect him to lose, because he was gigantic, and he was bigger than Dorian Yates, and you can see Dorian Yates, I made a video about him a couple of days ago, who looks much better, and who's actually older than Ronnie. So, yeah, I mean, he had so many injuries, so many surgeries so far, and uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is, why is he training today? And this is what is making me depressed the most, because I'm scared that, uh, you know, I or you or any bodybuilder out there may end up like this. Ronnie just can't let it go. He just can't let it go. Dorian was strong-minded that way that he was able to completely reinvent himself. So Dorian went from being the best bodybuilder in the world to a person who is in the industry, who is still training, who is going to the parts a little bit more, but not doing steroids, to a person who does yoga, who meditates, who is riding a bicycle, who is living in South Spain with a hot wife and who's uh, just enjoying life, smoking weed on the beach and doing that kind of stuff. Doesn't care about the bodybuilding, about having many kind of muscle, anything like that, really. But uh, Ronnie Coleman obviously is not that kind of a person. He just can't let it go. Now, he is the legend. He is the best bodybuilder of all time for a reason. Back in the day when he was coming up, I'm sure everybody was telling him that he should have been doing what he's doing, but he didn't listen to anybody, and he became the greatest of all time. Right now, everybody keeps telling him to stop. To stop hurting himself by training after having so many spinal surgeries. And he's actually about to have another one right now. If you watch his most recent uh, interview with uh, RX Muscle. So he's also publishing a book. And here you can see it. His, his new book. But also he's about to have a surgery because he has another herniated disc. Whatever that meant. So Ron is about to undergo another surgery. And in the meantime, he still keeps training. Now, is that really what is causing him the, the, the problems and the complications with the with the surgeries, I don't know. I don't think anybody does, but uh, he doesn't care. He just likes training so much, and he keeps doing it. And here you can see his physique, what it actually is looking like uh, right now. Of course, he's always promoting his fat loss creams, and I'm sure nobody really believes that this does anything. Most certainly not him. <laughs> but uh, anyways, you can see here that he didn't lose a lot of muscle in his chest, for example, and his stomach, most certainly. But his arms are totally melted, the biceps and triceps. The forearms are kind of holding their own, but the shoulders, not very good. Legs have absolutely atrophied, and that is because of his inability to walk. You know, He was using wheelchair for quite a while. Um, sometimes he can walk, sometimes he cannot, sometimes he can barely do it. But uh, right now, I think he can walk, but he's in a lot of pain, as per usual. Now, for example, this exercise right here. I mean, he made this video about six weeks ago. So, why would you do this? I mean, I understand everything else, but this, 
is putting a lot of pressure on his, on his pine. Maybe because he wants to trigger us to comment on this, so he can promote his book right here. And I'm actually hoping that that's the case, because I don't want him to keep training like this on a regular basis, because that is putting some sort of a strain on his spine, which actually very well could be the reason why those screws in his spine are actually falling apart. It could be training. He's saying that it isn't, but who the hell knows? Why should he be risking it at all? I understand the love and the passion he has for it, but it's done, Ronnie, it's over. You're never gonna look great again. Those days are gone, just let it go. Embrace your life, whatever it is. Just try living in the moment. Stop trying to prove everybody that you can do it and try to maintain the image of you that people have, the big muscular dude, because that's not you anymore and it's probably never ever gonna be again. I'm sorry, but you are the legend, you are the greatest of all time, but it's gone. It's never gonna happen again. This is it. So unfortunately, as you can see right here, his arms look like three times, maybe four times smaller than they used to be. Which is normal. He, he's an old guy. Not that old, really. He's in his mid-50s. But still, whatever. I mean, it happened. He, he lost a lot of muscle because of his surgeries, because of his many surgeries. And he's always trying to gain that muscle back, but it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. He just keeps messing with his body and destroying it all over again. What do you guys think? Should he stop training? Why is he training at all? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more bodybuilding content. Thank you very much guys for watching. All the best and bye bye.